and the two officials for tonight's game, Jeff Weeks and Ian Ireland of Melbourne. And joining me as my co-commentator tonight, the man that took out the MVP award in 1979 in the NBL, the former coach of the West Adelaide Bearcats, Ken Richardson. Ken, this is shaping is what should be a great match. A great match, David. This is uh, two teams that, that you don't know how it's going to finish, you know, because they both got so much strength all over the court. And uh, if the shot's going down, well, then that'll be the team that wins. So Cal Britton bringing the ball up now for the Brisbane Bullets in his debut match for the first time in five years. And what a great player he is. Audie Matthews, naturalised Australian just a few weeks ago. He also back in the Brisbane Bullets lineup after two years. There's the seasoned veteran Larry Senstock putting the ball up. The rebound taken down back with Bruton. John Dawes not being able to control it. So a Brisbane Bullets ball from the side through Matthews. Then Cal Bruton finding Leroy Loggins. Post checking there by Carl Luke. Luke, of course, coming in with an injury into this game. It'll be interesting to see how he survives this very tough encounter. So Matthews with the ball from the side for Bruton. Post checking by Green. Loggins up. And two points to put the Bullets in the lead. Talk it up, Larry. Talk it up, Larry. Pierce, one of the great outside Nothing shooters, Larry. coming inside this time, laying it out for uh, Al Green. Quick ball. Beef and Genji showing his strength. Two points. Genji sure is a strong player, isn't he? They'll need that off from him all night tonight. So the game all tied up. Two points apiece. Matthews. Now for Sandstock. Bruton through the fake. Oh, Sandstock. Couldn't control it. Loggins brings it back into the field of play. A little bit of misunderstanding in the Bullets lineup. Good, strong defense by the 36ers. Now Dorge, the chicken farmer from Queensland. Loggins through the fake, put the shot up, and two more points for Loggins. Pierce, quite a bit of close checking out there, Ken. Yes, there is. Uh, everybody's feeling each other out to start of the game just to actually see where the referees are going to call it. Al Green through the fake again, put the left-handed shot up. The foul on Audie Matthews, and Al Green will go to the line. He's a strong player, Al. He's got to put the ball up. And so Al Green, the man that averaged 39.3 points per match last year, He's got an all-time high of 2956 points in the National League. Make that 2957. And through the four years in the league, he's averaged over 30 points a match. Green. <laughs> Handy points for the Adelaide 36ers. Now Bruton bringing the ball up over halfway again. Closely checked by Al Green. That's Loggins. Back now for Matthews. Searches for Bruton. Puts the shot up for the three-pointer. And it's there. Carl Luke. Pierce, who's a member of the Australian national side, got ve very valuable experience in the Australia games at the beginning of the year. Strong rebounding by Jones. Jones pulls it back again. And two points. He's first for his new club. A strong play by Jones inside. Cal Britton, the Black Pearl, the playmaker in this Brisbane Bullets lineup. Larry Sandstock, now George. He's also been added to the Australian squad. Cal Britton, Leroy Loggins. 11 seconds to attempt the shot. Matthews, Sandstock, comes inside and draws the foul. You called the foul out there. Why'd you go to the foul on? Larry Sinstock, a 25-year-old, uh, very experienced player here at the line. I, you know, Larry's no stranger to the Australian scene. Person. Well, already, Ken, he's been to two world titles and two Olympic Games. And as you mentioned, only 25 years of age, but a seasoned veteran in the National League. But not being able to put the advantage of the two free shots away from the line on that occasion. Al Green, slowing down the tempo, looks for Jones. Oh, Defa Genzi showed great strength, but couldn't control the ball. 
He's very powerful under the basket there, Ken. Very powerful indeed. Uh, that's what they need to do. They need to, to work that inside game with him and uh, see what actually is going to transpire. Cal Burton. Checked by Al Green. This is going to be a great battle tonight out there between these two very experienced and talented players. Bruton got the advantage on that occasion, but good defense again by the 36. It's Bruton under pressure. Pierce brings the ball back to the 36ers. Great defense by the Adelaide team. Defense Gen Z. Oh, yes! High percentage shot, that one. Well, that's the strength that uh, Ken spoke about before, of the former Sydney Supersonics player, and Larry Senstock replies. So, 10-8 in favour of the Bullets. Luke, good hands by Senstock. So, Carl Luke to initiate the attack again. For the 36ers. An attempted three-point play by Al Green wasn't successful. Bruton tries. He's short. Rebound by Pierce. Now back for Di Vincenzi. He's an enormous player, wearing 25 for the 36ers tonight. Al Green. Now Bill Jones through the fake and again came inside, put the shot up, and the rebound by Senstock. I'd say early nerves, Ken. Uh, plenty of shots going up there. Yes, there is. Uh, well, it's, like you said, it's early times yet. This, you know, this game lasts 48 minutes now. Al Green, oh yes. Scores back level. He makes you pay if you make a mistake. So both sides feeling each other out on the early stages of this first period. Matthews. Good defense by Pierce. Had a look around at Matthews. A strong defense by the Adelaide side. Really trying to put pressure and force the errors on the Brisbane side. Doors trying to affect the rebound. And are taken away by Bill Jones. So a scoring opportunity goes astray once again for the Bullets. A couple of very vital turnovers there, Ken. Very vital. Especially early in the game, you had to watch your turnovers. Luke. So for the first time in the match, the Adelaide side go in the lead. Bruton, Matthews, again good defence but the foul's been drawn. So the holding foul on number 14, Bill Jones. Brisbane ball from the side. Bruton. Bringing the ball back, slowing the tempo down, trying to set the play up for the Bullets. Loggins. Quick ball for Matthews. Now Senstock. Up for the shot on Greg. Fabulous play by Di Vincenzi. Oh, he's awesome, Ken. He waited for that one. He's got great body control there. He just waited for the shot to go up and then went up and swatted it. Well, he didn't have the best of years for the Supersonics, but my word, he's come out on a very impressive debut for the 36ers. Well, I heard that uh, he had mononucleosis too, which uh, takes a long time to get over. So Luke's ball from the side. Now Green. Out wide for Jones. Oh, up, strong rebounding. Oh, kick in by Jones. I don't think it'll take long for him to be a hero here at Apollo, Ken. Not at all. Not if he keeps playing like that. Logan. Got help. That's short. Go, Carl. Green. Go, Carl. So the bullets trail by four. 14 10. Will this be 17? No. Taken down by Loggins. Very vital rebound, that one, for the bullets. They trail by four points. Five minutes, 11 seconds remaining in the first period. Audi Matthews. Looking wide for Bruton. Loggins. This will test the outside shooting qualities of the Bullets, but inside comes Senstock. Well, they've got some renowned outside shooters there, but they're going to be fully tested, Ken. 
They must put the ball inside to uh, test them out completely because Larry Larry's so strong inside. Di Vincenzi attempts the shot for two more points. Six for the first period for Di Vincenzi. Logan. Loggins, of course, just recently arrived back from the United States. He would still be a little lethargic going into this new season. Sent stock. Yes, two more points. That's his strength inside. I think he got away with the walk there, too. Pierce. Green. Pierce again. That's the height advantage of Don Dorge, John Dorge. But he's drawn the foul. So a second team foul there for uh, John Dorge, and we see Ron Radley upon the court, Ken. Yes, uh, he's the outside shooting for Brisbane now. That's what Brisbane's looking for. They're looking to start making that outside shot. Daryl Pierce makes the first of two. Very good free throw shooter, Daryl. He's certainly spot on target tonight. So, one of the real personalities in the National League, number 22, the man in the left of our picture, Ron Radliff, the man with the ball, as Ken mentioned, had a great run last year with three pointers. He's not afraid to put them up, and he's very, very accurate on his night. Brute, this time, tests his skill. There's Radliff. Oh, straight away makes his impact on the game. 18 16 in favour of the 36ers. Bill Jones. Close checking by Loggins. Di Vincenzi. Very strong. Jones with the rebound and sticks it away. First one will have to find a way to keep him off the boards. 20 points to 16. The four point break to the 36 is playing at home in front of a great crowd here to start the National League season for 1985. Carl Luke. With the experience of the Australian Institute of Sport Academy. Good rebound by Matthews. Loggins just pulling it back. Sengstock. Now Radliff. Checked by Pierce. Now Matthews. Radliff again. That's short. Taken down with a good rebound by Al Green. Pierce. Brut. Well, certainly some elementary mistakes falling into the game, but it's understandable so early in the season. A sense stock puts the shot up. And the ball out of play. A couple of interesting substitutions. Here's a man that played under your coaching, uh, Ken. Ray Wood, what a great player he is. Number nine for the 36ers. Yes, he is. He brings a lot of experience into this side also. And, uh, and a young player named Mike Mackay, he's got the ball now. He's a young and upcoming player. Jones. Good feed by Green inside to Jones. Now Wood, the screen set up by Di Vincenzi, it's not a bad size screen either, Ken. No. Jones with the shot, my word, he's on target tonight. Six points so far in the first quarter to Bill Jones, Leroy Loggins. So the foul on Brian DiPacenzi, he's coming off the court, he'll be replaced by another experienced campaigner, former Australian Olympian Peter Ally, wearing number eight. Peter of course went to the Olympic Games in Moscow with the Australian side. Billy Ward, the former captain of the Australian under 20 side, wearing number 11 for Brisbane is also on. Now Matthews trying to find a way through, and he's drawn the foul. Push on the 
was a great move by Audi to the basket just then to draw that foul. He's an experienced player. He's been in Australia now for a few years. Woody Matthews, successful with his first shot from the line. Peter Alley was the man who was deemed to have drawn the foul in the first minute of play. play for Audi, come Bill. on now, Wood bringing the ball up. Michael Mackay. So both coaches using substitutions freely in the first period. Mackay. Strong rebounding through Senstock and through Matthews. Back retreating in defence is Al Green. Now Radliff. Bill Ward. Loggins. Good sharp play by Loggins for Matthews. The points, the two points count, and Matthews will go to the line. Audi's on the line again after a nice, nice strong move. Al uh, tried to stop him, but makes it a three-point play. So only one point the difference. 22-21 in favour of the Adelaide 36ers. Tight first period. Jones. He's certainly made his impact in his debut match tonight. Oh, a good two-pointer by Mackay. Showing the form that earned him selection in the Australian under-20 squad. Bill Ward. Inside for Matthews. And the foul again. So Matthews once again, Ken has drawn the foul on uh, Peter Alley. Two fouls, personal fouls, so early in his appearance in this match. Well, they're pushing the ball inside now, David. That's, uh, that's what Brisbane has got to do to get back in this game. And, and as you can see by the score, it's, they're doing it. But if he makes this one, he'll be down by one. 24-23 at the moment with Matthews. A chance to pull it back closer. He does. Defense now. Defense now. So you can hear coach Brian Curl calling to the bullets for more defense. Earlier, we heard Ken, Cowell, Ken Cole appealing to the two officials to watch the activity at this end of the court. Set stop. It's rather unusual for Ken too, because he's normally a very quiet man. Ken is not normally. <laughs> One of the great personalities, Kenny Cole, the coach of the 36ers. Radliff. Set stop. Loggins. Now Ward for Radliff. So at the end of the first period. One point the difference, 24-23 in favour of the 36ers. And so only one point separating the two sides at the end of the first period, but uh, Ken, we've got some very interesting stats to tell the story of that first period. Very interesting. Bill Jones almost owned the boards out there in the first uh, quarter. He got eight, eight rebounds. Uh, Adelaide actually out-rebounded uh, Brisbane by uh, 11 to 9. And they lead the game by one point as we're about to begin the second quarter of this very vital match in the National League for 85. Tip-off won by Adelaide through Ray Wood. That's Mackay. Al Green puts the shot up. It's wide. Rebound again. The ninth for Bill Jones. And he's stuck it away. Cal Bruton brings the ball up again over halfway for the Bullets. They trail now by three. Radliff. Oh, and caught out wide. John Dorge. Pretty much off the ball, but some good refereeing there. So the ball back in play through Wood. Mackay. Al Green. Look it up, Larry. 
Bill Jones. Ally. Mackay. Deliberate build up by the 36ers. 10 seconds to attempt the shot. Jones. Good hands by Dorge. Bruton. On his left is Matthews. Matthews puts the shot up and two points for Audie Matthews. 26-25 in favour of the 36ers. Making a big impact on Brisbane so far in this game. Audie. Send stock strong under the boards again. Bradley. Dorge for a well off target. Long ball. Al Green, watch this one. Yes. And he acknowledges it. That's the experience. Can of Raywood. Very experienced player. First thing he did was look up the court. And that, you know, now was there and he threw it. That's that's his experience. So the bullets coming here after that tough game in Perth last night and the long plane flight across, taking their time to find their feet. But Audie Matthews certainly has uh, settled down very well to make his impact in this game. 28-27, the scoreline in favour of the 36ers. Ray Wood trying to come inside. Mackay, Jones. Maybe trying just a little bit too much right now, Bill. Radliff, Audie Matthews. Sedstock. There's the strength of Sedstock. Great play by the Australian Olympian. It's Brisbane ahead by one now. Well, they led the game when uh, Leroy Loggins put them in the lead two to nothing. And then Adelaide caught the ascendancy halfway through that first period. But now the Bullets back in the lead. Jones. Tried to change that. Senstock with the rebound. Turnover by the 36ers and back it's now with Wood. Quick hands for Ally. Up with the shot and the 36ers back in the lead by one. 30-29. Good hustle all around there. Albert. comes Di Vincenzi and also Leroy Loggins. Loggins now. Looking for Dorge. Good defence by Di Vincenzi. Radliff attempts the one from outside. Oh yes. First three-pointer of the night for Ronnie Radliff. And hopes of more to come as far as the Brisbane fans are concerned. Now back in the lead. 32-30. Di Vincenzi. Good rebound by Loggins. Hey, get a there, there, Matthews, great play. Great pass. So the Bullets in the lead by four. So this will test the medal of the newly formed Adelaide 36ers. They came back once in the first term. Can they do it again in the second? Well, that's a very costly error, which will give the chance for the Bullets to come further ahead in this game. Loggins shouldn't make a mistake, and he doesn't.
So the Bullets now enjoy the biggest lead they've had in this match, a six-point break on the 36ers. Pierce, he's not afraid to put it up from there. This time he puts it across to Luke. Luke for Ally, calling for Di Vincenzi. He threw the fake, out for Luke. Nine seconds to attempt this shot. Luke, up with the shot, rebound by Bruton. So I think that's four in a row, Ken. Oh. Well, uh, as my figures show here, that uh, Brisbane shooting better than 85%, and, and City of Adelaide to the start of this quarter shot less than uh, 30%. So that sort of tells the story. Total reversal from that first term. Total reversal. Ally, good inside pass for Luke. Oh, hits the backboard, and the bullets come away again. The Adelaide side really can't afford to let the bullets go further ahead here, but that's. A chance now to come back by two. Watch Stephen Chenzi, the big dunk. And six the difference. 38-32 in favour of the Bullets. Bruton with the ball. That's Loggins. Radliff. Pulling it back now for Loggins. Matthews. Puts the shot up. And good hands by Deep and Chenzi. Good tip there by George. Pierce. Oh, misunderstanding. And another very fundamental error forced on the Adelaide side. Radliff. Oh, yes. He's hot for the three pointer. That's his second. 41 32 the scoreline. Ally, Di Vincenzi, Carl Luke, through the fake, put the shot up, and the rebound by Dawes. Well, I certainly know what uh, Coach Ken Cole will be saying at halftime if this pattern continues as another three-pointer by Cal Bruton. That's his second. They're allowing Brisbane to have the open shot in. City of Adelaide are taking the uh, first shot that comes to them, and they're not. And they're off in the outside. They're not high percentage shots. And they're paying the penalty because it's uh, 11 points the difference. After the Adelaide team had led by one at quarter time. Need to be much more positive. saying Ken that statistics don't lie and the fact that uh, the percentage shooting percentage of the four for the bullets has increased to 75 percent as opposed to Adelaide's 25 and that score line really uh, vindicates those statistics yes they do actually you gotta they need to hire percentage shots on what they're getting to the foul on Ron Radliff Back the foul called on Cal Bruton. Al Green. Unloads the ball to Pierce. Green couldn't control it, the ball out of play. So a Brisbane ball from the side through Bruton. 43-32 in favour of the Bullets. They dropped their opening match by seven points to Perth on Friday night. And they're off to Melbourne for three matches in the one weekend to open their campaign in 85. So a very demanding opening to the Brisbane campaign for 85. Di Vincenzi puts the shot up. Not on target again. Poor shooting percentage by the 36ers. And they trail by 11 points. 
Albert, 4.52 left in the second turn. Strong play. Foul on Di Vincenzi. Cal. Run a weak side. Run a weak side. If the postman come right up, all right. Another strong play by Larry Sinstock inside. That shows his experience. He received the ball, turned and faked, got everybody off their feet, and he takes it up for the foul. Sinstock on target. That gives the Bullets a 12-point break. Very strong inside player, Larry Sinstock. Tends to get himself in a little bit of foul trouble. I think he averaged something like uh, just under four fouls a match last year. Well, if you're not fouling, that means you're not trying, so Larry's always been a trier. Al Green, Di Vincenzi. So Dorge, the man in trouble. Adelaide ball from the side. Five, five, big laughing. Big laughing. Big laughing. Big laughing. Okay, now it's white. Yes. Al Green. Strong defense by Radliff. Ally. Pierce. Interesting battle going on. Radliff. Now Luke. Chance for the 36 is to come back. Jones from out wide. A three-pointer. Forty-five, thirty-four. the scoreline. Loggins puts it up for two. That was a class move, that one. Well, you had control of him when you coached the Adelaide side. He'd be a coach's dream, wouldn't he, Leroy Loggins? Oh, he always was. Always when you needed two points, he was the man to give it to you. Here's his ball from the side. Green. There's the shot. They just cannot find that ring tonight, the Adelaide 36ers. Bruton with the shot. It's short. Radliff retains possession for the Bullets. 13 points the difference. 3.29 remaining in the second term. Oh, a nervous start for Murray Shields. Allows the 36ers to come back on offense. Oh, they're putting that shot up first time, Ken, and they're paying the penalty. Paying the penalty badly. They, they really need to work it inside to get the high percentage shot. So jump ball, Jones against Murray Shields. But a timeout called on the Brisbane bench with 3.15 remaining in this second turn. So coach Brian Curl must be quite pleased the way that the bullets have come back in this second term to go to a 13 point break. Coach Ken Cole not at all happy with his team's performance in the second term. They've paid the penalty for some poor shooting. So the jump ball between Jones and Murray Shields, the youngster from the Australian Institute of Sport, wearing 23 tonight for the Bullets. Radliff gave possession away, but the Bullets come back with it. Foul on Leroy Logan. Foul on Leroy. So 
So to the line will go Daryl Pierce. One to make one. Pierce. No. Jones for the rebound. Yes. Well, it's been a long time between drinks there, Ken. Yes, it is. Uh, again, it was an inside shot. That's that's more where they got to do at the moment. Put well, the ball. Well, it's percentage inside. play, isn't it? Yes, it is. Cal Bruton. Now for Senstock. Bruton, who's been pretty closely marked in this match tonight. Murray Shields with his first two-pointer of the night. Green, bringing the ball up over halfway. Pierce. Well, Cal Bruton looks to the bench to his coach, Brian Curl. I don't think he agreed with that. No, I don't. I didn't really agree with him sitting here either. I thought it was good defense. Those screens up. So Darryl Pierce. This time he's successful and gets the bonus shot. Pierce. That's better shooting from Darryl Pierce. Much better. So 49-38, the scoreline, the Bullets in the lead. Ron Radliff. Good defence by Adelaide. 14 seconds to attempt the shot. Billy Ward. Loggins inside, up for the shot, and two points. So back to 13 points, the difference. Great support, great atmosphere here tonight at Apollo. Senstock with the rebound. Ronnie Radliff. Senstock. Leroy Loggins. Shields. No. Good rebound by Pierce for Green. And a charging foul on Al Green. Ooh. I don't think the fans like that one too much, Ken. No. That's... He didn't even get a chance to turn around and he ran into him. So I don't, I don't know if I'd have called that one or not. Bullets ball from the side. Radliff, he'll probably put it up from there. No, he won't. Senstock. Radliff. Loggins. Oh, Leroy all the way through, but couldn't affect the two-pointer. Look promising. Pierce, Al Green, Loggins with the steal, oh clever play by Loggins, back over halfway, I don't think they could call that accidental. No, Leroy made just a little error right there at the halfway point, Adelaide's really got to work inside now, they've got to work inside and try to get the high percentage shot. Ray Wood, Jones, Jones, up for the two-pointer. Well, would you suggest Coach Kent Cole will have to bring Di Vincenzi in for that reason, Kent? Well, I think he's, he'll have to bring him in eventually here pretty soon. I know he's resting him right at the moment, but uh, he needs him inside for that inside strength. 52 seconds remaining in the term. After trailing by one at quarter time, the Bullets now lead by 11. But the Adelaide side coming back in the closing moments of this match for the first half. Short. I don't think that was intended. Or should we say good pass from Daryl Pierce? Kim? Really good pass. <laughs> Bill Jones just being just showing his his class working out working inside for those uh, tip ins. Nine the difference. Radliff. Leroy Loggins, 14 seconds remaining in the half. 51-42 in favour of the Bullets. Radliff. Shields, five seconds to put the shot up. Ward, good defence by Adelaide. Radliff with the shot. Loggins. And that's how the half-time scoreline leaves us. 51-42 in favour of the Bullets. More action coming up in just a moment. 
So welcome back to the Apollo Stadium where the scoreline is 51-42 in favour of the Brisbane Bullets. Some interesting statistics headed the first half. Yes, the uh, shooting percentage was one that really stuck out. The uh, Brisbane Bullets shot 56% the first half and City of Adelaide 36ers shot 36%. That's, uh, that's a big difference. Interesting uh, to note to two key players in, the, in either side on three Team uh, personal foul situations, Cal Bruton and Al Green, two vital cogs on each side. Two vital cogs on each side. Uh, they're both going to have to watch themselves early on in the uh, second half. Actually, Green didn't even start for City of Adelaide in the second half because of his foul situation. Larry Senstock, six rebounds in that first Hi. half. Cal Bruton tried to drive all the way. Matthews with the shot. DeFacenzi tried to pull down the rebound. And it's a Sydney ball from the side. Out through Mackay and now Ray Wood bringing up over halfway. Out wide for Pierce. A vital stage of the match. A chance for Adelaide to come back into it. A chance for Brisbane to go further ahead. The, short, the shot was short from Di Vincenzi. Jones. And the foul against Leroy Loggins. Three fouls on Logans now. He'll have to watch himself. Wood, yes. That pulls it back by two. Matthews. Senstock through the fake. The Fincenti hands everywhere. But I don't think that was the right call, Ken. Well... There was a, a pick there, and he's the one who got picked. Oh, fourth personal foul, and that is, uh, he's a key member. They've got to keep on that court. Very key member he is. So he'll be a target now for the Bullets to try and see him safely out of this game. Audie Matthews, charging foul. Now Wood brings the ball up again for the 36ers through Mackay. Transfers to Pierce. Quick pass for Wood. Inside for Jones. Great goal! Down it goes. Two points count. Great inside play there by Jones. Strong move inside by Greg Jones. Bruton. Senstock. Matthews. Now Loggins. Dorge. Loggins. Through the fake. Oh, great hands again by Jones. Travel call on Loggins. And the 36 is back on offense. Mackay into the key area puts the shot up two points well this is the start that coach Ken Cole wanted in the second half only uh, two points the difference now good start for Adelaide and the start of the second half they're taking the better percentage shot uh, looking for each other is what they need to do the bullets yet to score in the second half Loggins puts the shot up good rebounding Good defense by Adelaide. And the fans love it. Brisbane was a little stiff there not to score. Good hands by Raymond Wood in there, sneaking the ball out just as he was going to put the ball back up. So that's Wood in picture now. Pierce. We've seen him exploit that great ability from outside so far. But no doubt he'll, uh, his impact will start to make effect later in this match. Blocking foul on the tie. That was a young mistake, that one. So 
So the Black Pearl, Carl Bruton, brings the ball back over halfway. Closely checked by Wood. Pass for Dorge, out wide for Loggins. Loggins, Bruton. Sends Dock. The fans don't really mind it because it denied the chance for the Bullets to go two further points ahead. They lead by two, 8.55 remaining in this third quarter. A quarter so far dominated by the 36ers. Pierce put the possibility up to the three-pointer. Jones pulls it back, Mackay. Now Al Green. Jones, 18 points in that first half. That's him in possession of the ball now. Sends Dock after his 10th rebound. Two points. Great effort by Mackay inside on the boards that time. He never stopped hustling and that enabled him to get the two points. Tremendous effort by the young boy. So the fans have really come alive here at Apollo. 51 apiece the scoreline. And Sens Dock's been Picked up again. Larry Senstock. Yes, they showed a very obvious, very obvious foul. So a timeout called. Didn't get that. Yes. Brisbane. now in a dangerous foul situation as well, Ken. Yes. Talk it up, talk it up. Pierce, 51 apiece the scoreline. Jones, Senstock with the steal. Matthews. Brisbane must now slow the tempo down. Radcliffe. Sees his side go two points in the lead. They virtually fall in the away, same foul. Run away, that Adelaide side, did in that second turn. In fact, it's taken them now around about four and a half minutes to score their first two pointers of this third term. Great rebound by Logan. Calvert. Good defense by Wood. Senstock through the fake. Radliffe with a three point attempt. It's short. And a good rebound by Ray Wood. Look it out. Look it That's out. good defense by the Adelaide Help side, me. forcing Brisbane to shoot out wide. Jones tried the hook shot. Get to it. Green, steady play by Adelaide. Wood. Puts the shot up. Senstock. With his 11th rebound of the match. Albert, good inside pass for Matthews. Back for Bruton with the shot. No. Good rebound again by Jones. He's been dominant in that department. Out wide for Pierce. Hey, get to it. Wood. Oh, good play. Green. Yes. Well, obviously they learnt the lesson of that second term, Ken. That's the style of play they need to affect. Playing very good ball now, getting the ball inside, taking the uh, better, closer to the outside shot. They're not taking so far out now. 
And they're also complementing that with some very strong defense. Yes, they are. 53 apiece in this ball game at Apollo. 5.50 remaining third term. And there's the rebound by Al Green on the fast break. The shot put up by Mackay. Easy rebound by Radliff. Uncontested. Bad shot. Cal Bruton. Ball game all tied up at 53 apiece. Logan, Sandstock. Tries to come inside, lays it off for Matthews. And he couldn't affect it. Everything was right except for the finishing. He played the body contact and got him off balance. Radliff with another uncontested rebound. Bruton, Logan's on the break, watch this. He draws the foul. So he'll go to the line. Great play by Leroy to get down the floor on that fast break. Brisbane needs to settle it down a little bit more and get into their offense. They're not flowing very well at the start of this half in their offense. So Loggins gets the bonus of the extra throw from the free throw line. The Bullets in the lead by one. Will it be two? Yes, it is. So the Bullets back in the lead. Seesawing match here at the Apollo Stadium. And still plenty of action to come. Wood, green. Mackay, inside is Wood. Pivoted beautifully. Another strong rebound, that time by Carl Luke. And the hand foul. On Larry Senstock. So there's not much more breathing space for Larry Senstock in this match as Carl Luke goes to the line. Good free throw to Carl Luke. He should make both of these. Oh, that's the costly error there. That's Actually, the new rule that's come in, Ken. One on one. I think it's a great rule. Sendstock. Used his body. Carl Luke with a very vital rebound. Mackay. Wood on his left. Pulls it back. Now Jones. He's made a very impressive debut. I think we'll see more of Bill Jones as this 85 season progresses. Al Green, good shield put up. Get to it! the screen, then received the ball back and in for two points. 55 apiece. Gone, gone. Radliff, Loggins, good pass by Loggins. Matthews, outside for Ward. The edge of the key for Sandstock. And Radliff couldn't affect the good build up by the Bullets. Oh, Leroy Loggins. Radliff. Leroy is up for two. Great pass. Great pass by Radliff. So the Bullets back in the lead by two. 57 55. 333 remaining in this third term. Straight in, Billy! Green kept it in. Scrap for possession. And it's an Adelaide ball. A lot of desperation stuff going out here to start of this second half. Al Green, Ray Wood. Brisbane's trying to zone against them now. Luke, no foul. you can hear the call of coach Brian Curl, no fouls, the clock, tick, clock ticks down to eight seconds, up goes the shot by Mackay, and Loggins is on the far side to pull it down. 
Well, I think Leroy was anticipating a little bit of adventure play there. If he hadn't lost the ball, I guarantee he would have thrown it. Radliff puts the shot up. That's on target. So the Bullets go to a four-point break. Green. Audie Matthews. So Al Green to the line, one for one. 59-55 the scoreline. Al Green, the leading point scorer in the history of the National League. Make sure of the first one and gets the bonus. Averaged just over 30 points a game. Right through his career here in Australia, and that really is an outstanding performance. Tonight playing his 99th National Basketball League match, as is Cal Bruton. Ward, good hands. Wood came in over the top there again. And gets the benefit of the ball from the side. To the difference. The Bullets in the lead. A chance now for Adelaide to tie this game up. Mackay. Wood. Green. Luke. with the two-pointer. In fact, the three-pointer that's put the team in the lead. Loggins brings it back for the Bullets. 61-60. They know what strength to go to when they're down, don't they? Carl Luke got his rebound, puts up the shot, and the 36 is back in the lead. 131 remaining in the third term. The Bullets led by nine at the break. They now trail by one. So Al Green being substituted after picking up his fourth personal foul. Coming on as Daryl Pierce. Dorge attempted the hook shot. Rebound by Adelaide. On the fast break is Luke. Puts the shot up. Rebound by Loggins. 62-61. The 36 is in the lead. We're into the final minute of the third term. In a seesawing match here at the Apollo Stadium before a packed house in Adelaide. Loggins. Dorge. The chicken farmer. Has gone for the travel. Come on, get to it. I thought having come from Dolby, well outside uh, Queensland, he's had enough travelling, uh, Ken. Oh, yes, Billy Jones. And the 36ers lead by three. We're into the final half minute of the term. Will we see Ronnie Radliff put up a three pointer to tie the ball game up at three quarter time? He won't have that opportunity. Well, he has now. He has 21 seconds to try and affect that deed. I'd set it up for Leroy and let him take the shot. Ward. Here's Leroy. Oh, and he's drawn the foul on Pierce. So Leroy will go to the line. So the clock stops with 15 seconds remaining in the third term. Three points the difference. It's now two. And a chance for Loggins to bring it back to one. Leapin' Leroy Loggins on the line for the bullets. Yes, he's done it. 
So one the difference, the clock starts ticking again. Ten seconds remaining in the term. Pierce. Wood. Four seconds for the shot. Adelaide get it back. Brisbane get it back. And that's three-quarter time. The 36ers lead the Bullets by one point. But still plenty of action coming up in the final term. And so only one point separates the two sides going into the vital final term. And Ken, you drew a very interesting um, conclusion from that third period. Yes, Adelaide came back uh, outscoring Brisbane 22 to 12. Even though the shooting percentage, would, you know, was not that much in between them, shooting percentage-wise, just to see if Adelaide had that many more shots. So only one point the difference. We're in for a great final term. 12 minutes remaining in this match. The Bullets really can't afford to drop their second match on the road this weekend. But the Adelaide side are out for a great start in front of their home crowd here at the Apollo Stadium. Darrell Pierce puts the shot up, it rings out. Rebound by Senstock. And now Cal Bruton, the man to bring it up. Out wide for Leroy Loggins. Bruton, Bill Ward. Closely guarded by Pierce. Loggins. Puts the left hand shot up. Oh yes. Fast play by Leroy Loggins. And the Bullets go back into the lead by one. As you said earlier, Ken, when you want a basket scored, Leroy's the man. He sure is class, Leroy is. So the travel called on Peter Alley. It's a Brisbane ball from the side. Through Billy Ward. Five Matthews. Five. Ward under the bucket up for two, yes. Well, it seems to be a game of, of quarters. It was Brisbane and then it was Adelaide, or the other way around, and then the bucket came again in the third term, and now Brisbane has started promisingly in this fourth. Yes, they have. Uh, if they keep it up, uh, they're going to put Adelaide in a hole. Adelaide's taking the outside shots and... Paying the penalty. Yes, they're not falling. Ward, 67-64 to the Bullets. Woody Matthews, Loggins, Leroy for two, and all of a sudden the crowd at Apollo has been hushed. Will we see the fight back by the 36ers? Five the difference, and that's a very handy break for the Bullets. Carl Luke, Ray Wood, Ali, Ali up for Pierce, Senstock. Can't keep it in the field of play. That was some strong board work there. So it's an Adelaide ball from the side. Ray Wood. Al Green to Wood again. Jones. Oh, that's strong play. Billy Jones. 69-66. First time they've pushed it inside, the first time they score. And more importantly, Larry Setstock favoring that left hamstring that troubled him so much in 84. Billy Ward with a two-pointer. So Setstock back in the other end of the court, feeling that hamstring. I hope he's not too injured, but he's not moving too gingerly. Green. Ray Ward, that looks on target. Yes, it is. Two the difference. And predictably, the crowd comes alive again. Billy Ward. 71-69. The Bullets in the lead. Loggins. Senstock. Ward attempts the three-pointer. Rebound by Wood. Forced to shoot outside again. Green, Pierce, inside for Di Vicenzi, two points. There's a lesson to be learned there, Ken. Yes, there is. 71 apiece. Ward, Loggins, 
Ward looks for Senstock. Out for Bruton. Loggins puts the shot up. The bullet's back in the lead. Oh, Lee Ray's a pressure player, and they really need him out there tonight. He can make him from anywhere. Him inside, lots inside. Jones. Rebound by Matthews. Senstock, who doesn't appear to be moving as freely as he'd like to be out there. Now, if they lose him, they've lost a big part of their team. Leroy Loggins with the ball. Loses it. Gets it back. Back for Ward. Out for Bruton. Senstock. Ward. Seven seconds to attempt the shot. Senstock up. Good hands by Jones. The clock starts again with the foul on Bill Jones. Great experience of Larry Sinstock showed up there. Not just the experience, Ken, the determination that we know he's got. Yes. Sinstock. I thought with it. With him being injured there, it might be a case he might miss his free throws, and that's just exactly what's happened here. Harry Sinstock puts it up. That's the one pointer. So Brisbane shooting 75% in this third term, Adelaide 42, and uh, three points the difference in the scoreline with the Bullets in the lead. This has been a game, Ken, where the statistics haven't painted a false picture. That's very true. Very, very true. Green, Mackay, Defensi. There's his strength going inside. Couldn't affect the bucket. Dorge and Jones Butler out. So John Dorge, his fourth personal foul. Daryl Pierce, Al Green. Log pass for Di Vincenzi. Green, Jones. Cal Bruton comes away with it for the bullets. Great hands, Cal Bruton that time. Great hands. Audie Matthews on the fast break. I think that might be Young Mackay. Holding the foul. So a chance now for the Bullets to go even further ahead. They lead by 74 to 71. Matthews. Oh, good play. Luke and Green. Green with a shot. Don't the fans love that? 74-73. Been, been pretty quiet tonight, Al. He hasn't dominated the game, but he sure played a good team game out there tonight. Billy Ward. Cal Bruton puts the shot up. It's short. Green with the rebound. Get loose, Cal, get loose. Won the difference. Can Adelaide go in the lead? Yes, they can. 75-74. Five fifty remaining. We predicted before the game started, Ken, that this game would go down to the wire, and I don't think we're going to be all that far out. No, I don't believe so at all. Brisbane's got uh, four players out there instead of five, offensively wise. You know, they're they're not throwing the ball into the big boy at all. Bruton, Leroy Loggins, yes. So the Bullets go back in the lead by one. 5.22 remaining. Won the difference. Green. Luke. Deliberate build up by the 36ers. Defense No. Anybody's ball. It goes to the Bullets.
say this is a very vital stage of the match. The Bullets really can't aff afford a turnover here. Loggins. Oh, great hands. Great block. Great timing on that too. Leroy's not an easy person to block. There's some very rugged and determined defence out there. But Adelaide have paid the penalty on that one. Yes. Holding foul on Billy Jones. Loggins, Matthews, Radliffe, Bruton, Loggins, looking for doors. They won't give it to him, Ken. No. But Loggins puts it away, and the Bullets lead by three. What? That's the very point we were making a few moments ago. When you need two points, you've got to go to the man you know will get it for you, and he definitely will. Green. Mackay. Green. Oh, up goes Matthews. And gets the foul. So he'll go to the line. Fifth personal foul on Al Green. So he'll take no further part of the match. It'll be a Brisbane ball from the side as Ray Wood comes back into the game for the 36ers. Well, how severely will Al Green be felt? Well, I think he could be felt very uh, severely because he's made the he made their last four points and it was he was the one that was uh, actually making them go places. Leroy with the rebound and the two-pointer. So Leap and Leroy making his impact on the game as the Bullets skip away to a five-point lead. Jones. Matthews with the rebound. Ronnie Ratliff, Ronnie the Rat. Matthews. And that way ball. Good hands. I don't quite believe that one somehow, but. Uh... So a timeout called. Coach Kenny Cole in picture with his side trailing by five. They really need to work now on the uh, high percentage shot. Uh, I think it's a little bit too early to start throwing up the three pointers at this stage. Points were made, Ken, during the timeout as reflected in the shooting percentage of the Bullets as opposed to the 36ers in this last term. That's very true, Leroy. They've been going to Leroy inside and he's been uh, putting them down, whereas City of Adelaide, just like this, have been taking the three-pointer and it hasn't been going down. So, less than three and a half minutes remain in this very vital match as we see the Bullets go to the line for the one for one. Gordy Matthews to the line. So to add fuel to the fire, the 36 is in team foul problems as well. Well, that's right. That, that comes down to the situation. Adi did a tremendous rebound down there, and any and City of Adelaide are reaching instead of being up there rebounding themselves. But again, I really feel it comes down to them not working the ball inside, getting a high percentage shot, and their outside shot is just not going down. So the clock starts ticking again. 82-75, a seven-point break to the Bullets. Three minutes remaining. Luke. Luke. 
Wood. DiFincenzi, that shot short. DiFincenzi with the rebound, now it's Mackay. Great play by Michael Mackay. He looks a likely customer as well. For a young kid, he sure does play a big man's game in there. He's a very experienced player for as young as he is. He's only 19 years of age, he's in the Australian under 20 squad. Now Matthews. Audie Matthews, shot not on target. DiFincenzi comes down. Your man, Bill. Right. The substitution that Brisbane just did, bringing Larry back in for for Dodge, that that'll be, that'll make the difference because they'll now. Well, as the point Ken made before, they're only using four players offensively. There's the three-pointer from Daryl Pierce. To the difference. Two minutes, 15 remaining. And a timeout called on the Brisbane bench. Certainly the cheer squad here at the Apollo Stadium. Ken has added a lot of flavour to this uh, telecast and to the atmosphere for the home fans. Yes, they have, actually, David. It's really great to see these kids out here uh, cheer squatting like they are. It does a lot for the atmosphere. It brings everybody into the game more than just uh, timeouts, nothing. Well, they certainly have had uh, plenty to cheer about tonight and a very tight tussle here at the Apollo Stadium. 2-12 remaining, two points the difference. The Bullets in possession and in the lead. Loggins for Radliff. Screen set up by Senstock. Matthews, Bruton. Now Senstock puts the shot up. Rebound by Gufagenzi. Oh, he showed some aggression there too. He's a big lad, Gufagenzi. Pierce. little melodramatics there uh, paid off and got him to foul. Audie Matthews can't believe it. But it's come at a very vital time. Two points the difference. The clock has stopped at a minute 42 remaining. And now it starts ticking again. I'll tell you what, we've got a ball game if they can convert this basket. Pierce. He's done. The ball game's tied up here at Apollo. Calvin Bruton. Loses it. Oh! The 36ers with possession. Into the final minute. They'll take their time over this shot, Ken. I would think they would. Uh, keep working it and try to, try to work the inside shot and not take the outside shot. Well, they've taken the outside shot. Ronnie Radcliffe has drawn the foul. Get it back, Get it back. 105 remaining. The clock starts ticking from the 30 second countdown. And I'm sure the 36ers will use every second of that. Di Facenzi. Mackay. Good defense by the Falco, by the Bullets. Oh, Senstock. 44 seconds remain. Luke. No. Jones. Oh, what a finish this will be. Luke. They take the complete 30 seconds. Of a ball up. Jump ball. How vital is this? This is, this is very vital right now. Whoever controls this tip uh, really has the game in their hands because uh, if Adelaide City get it, they take it the last shot. If Brisbane get it, they go down. 
and give it to Leroy Logans, and uh, he should win the game for him. That's, but if not, that they can still go to overtime. 22 seconds remaining in the ball game. Listen to the fans. What a vital tip-off. Jump ball between Pierce and Matthews. Matthews with the decided height advantage. But it's the timing of this jump that's important. Tactics certainly being employed. The experience against the young star. Matthews gets it. Remaining. Ten. Jones. Three seconds. Send Stark. No. We go into overtime, Hill to Apollo. So welcome back to the Apollo Stadium. And just listen to the crowd as we go into five minutes of overtime in this very vital match. The first in the season for the 36ers. The Bullets dropping the points against Perth on Friday night. Billy Jones with 14 offensive rebounds in his debut match for the Adelaide 36ers has been one of the stars. Sedstock wins the tip. Radliff. 82 apiece. We're in overtime. Sedstock. Defensive. With the foul, Logan's go to, uh, Sendstock goes to the line. Five personal foul for Duke McKenzie. So he'll take no further part in the game. The big fellow leaves the court, but a strong performance tonight. So I'm sure that this crowd here at Apollo will certainly put plenty of pressure on Larry Senstock as he goes to the line. I don't think it'll bother Larry at all. So Peter Alley comes onto the court in place of DiPincenzi. They lose nothing there in experience. So pressure now on Larry Senstock. 82 apiece. Let's go. Yes. The bullets in the lead by one. And now by two. A lot of pressure on the youngsters now in Luke and Mackay and Pierce out there tonight. Because the Bullets have got the experienced five out there at the moment, Ken. Yes, they do. Mackay, Jones, Luke, Ally. No, good by Sinstock. And that's that experience we were speaking about. Cal Bruton brings the ball up now for the Bullets. Go through. Radliff, Matthews, Loggins. Leroy can't try to come in the back door. Bruton. Radliff. The 30 second clock has started again. Sandstock. Bruton. Bruton. Sandstock. No. Oh, Leroy. With the foul. Great determination by Loggins. He, he was stiff to get that one, Leroy. He certainly had his eye on the ball. Yes, he did. Luke and Mackay. Tremendous young talent of Australian basketball, these two players. Yes. And young Pierce as well. Pierce with the attempt for three points. Ronnie the Rat. Radliff comes away with it. Leaping Leroy. Bruton. Loggins. That's on target. No. Pierce. Mackay. 
Transfers it to Luke. Unlucky. Bruton. Three minutes and ten seconds remain. To the difference, the Bullets in the lead. Clever play by Bruton. No. Jones again there with the rebound. It's been the only thing keeping Adelaide in the game all night long, and that's his board work. Peter Ally. Ken Cole to his feet, the Adelaide coach. You can hear Ken Cole in the background. Pierce with the three-point attempt. Rebound by Luke. He puts the shot up. 84 all. Radliff. Loggins. Bruton. The ball game all tied up. Two minutes remaining. Senstock. Vital passage of play now for the Bullets. Leroy Loggins for two points. Can't let Leroy have that kind of shot out there by himself. No fouls, Ronnie. No fouls, Ronnie. No foul, no foul, oh. no Mackay. Both teams shooting 20% in overtime. And that's the pressure of this game. A Brisbane ball. Billy Jones disputes it, but I don't think there's any doubt about that. No. Bruton for Loggins. Oh, Leroy. Yes. What a great move that was on Leroy's part. He's been the thorn in the side for Adelaide when the pressure and the stakes have been down. Pierce. He's been steady as well. Mackay. No. Yes. 88 all. 53 seconds remaining. Um, the Bullets. A chance to go in the lead. No. Oh. Air ball by Loggins. 37 seconds remain. I thought for sure that was a foul. I think Brian Curl did too, the way he came off the bench. 20 seconds remaining, 10 seconds to affect this shot. Good defense by Brisbane. Pierce, Luke. Yes. Nine seconds remaining. Morgan. Timeout, timeout by uh, Brisbane. Yes. Timeout by Brisbane. Oh, the timeout called. How costly could that be? Oh, we've got a ball game. 90 to And nine seconds remaining. That was a smart move on Brian Curl's part to uh, call timeout in case they did score on him that time, and that's exactly what happened, and uh, he's got nine seconds now to work to get the open shot. Just listen to this atmosphere here at the Apollo Stadium. Some critics still have the hide to say it's a minor sport, Ken. Yes. That's because they've never been to one. <laughs> I can assure you, any Adelaide fan, this is the place to be on a Saturday night because the atmosphere here tonight has been absolutely electric. So the clock starts ticking. Nine seconds remaining. So that's virtually the ball game. It is the ball game.
three seconds to play. The 36 is in the lead by two. And wait for this crowd to erupt. The officials are telling the players to get back onto the seats on the bench. Time out by City of Adelaide just to settle everybody down and work out a little play to throw the ball in this time. There's still time for Brisbane to win, but... Uh, well, look at Kenny Cole. He's got the chalk out on the court. Well, I suppose if you don't want him to make any mistakes, then you draw it out and say, this is where you go. the tactics devised for the last three seconds by coach Kenny Cole the 36ers in the lead by three just have a look at this out here this is by far the biggest crowd ever at the Apollo Stadium and I think that would that would definitely include the finals with it Ken here a few years ago that's the game Adelaide have won by two points. Let's look at the final scoreline. 90 points to 88. And my thanks go to my co-commentator, Ken Richardson. But what a mighty game it was. Yes, it was, David. It was a tremendous game, and it came right down to what we was hoping it would, the last second shot, and that's uh, how it's ended up. And I think that's uh, great for the game of basketball and uh, great, greater even still for the game of basketball in Adelaide. Final scoreline, the 36ers of Adelaide, 90, have defeated the Brisbane Bullets, 88.